Hi, Henrik here in hot and sweaty Bangkok. So I've just got off the BTS train at Safan Taksin Station, which is right next to the Chao Phraya River here in an area of Bangkok called Bang Rak. Um, so when I started this channel, I always wanted to do things that were a bit off the beaten path, not so touristy. And though Bang Rak's a really popular area of Bangkok, what we're going to do today is something a bit different. So I was put onto this by a tour leader friend of mine, uh, Matty Dias, who used to live out here, and we're going to follow a street art trail. Uh, apparently, I think about six years ago, there was a big street art festival out here. And uh, here in Bang Rak, they created several big pieces and we're going to go find them. And uh, I think the first one, we're going to have to go up onto the footbridge over the river because that's the only place you can see it from. Uh, it's a giant duck, so <laughs> let's go see what it looks like. Okay, so over there in the distance you can see it, artwork number one of the day. And the boatyard that it's in is currently closed off so you can't get in there to have a look at it. And uh, I think what I'll do is actually we'll pop the drone up and see if we can get a better shot. Uh, while we're up here, you can see we've got some amazing views out across Ceylon. And uh, all the big skyscrapers here. A very famous one just over to the left hand side. That is the Saturn Unique Tower, or the Ghost Tower. And you see lots of articles about people clambering up there. It's been closed off for years, but you used to be able to pay off the guards and uh, sneak up to the top, but uh, uh, apparently you can't anymore. They're very strict. Otherwise, uh, I'd be giving it a go myself. All right, let's uh, put the drone up and see if we can get a better look at the duck. Okay, so back down at ground level, just retracing our steps a little bit. And we're back beside the station to see artwork number two. And what I'll do today is I'll add on a, uh, a map that you can follow if you're ever in Bangkok or if you're in Bangkok already and you fancy wandering around and following this. Um, I don't really know too much about these art pieces. So what I'll do is I'll try and do a bit of research on them as well and I'll add that into the blurb of the video so you know a little bit more about them than I do. Okay, so we'll keep wandering past all the Songtao, very popular form of transport here in Bangkok. And uh, I think we've got a couple of minutes to our next pieces of art. All right, so I said a few minutes walk. I think that's turned out to be a lie. I didn't actually check the map before getting going. Uh, it's probably going to be more like 20, but on the way, there's a few buildings to check out. At the moment, we're next to Assumption Church. Uh, so we'll go have a look in here, make a bit of a change from the normal Buddhist temples we end up in. And uh, yeah, then we'll pass a few others on the way. So let's go take a look. So uh, the church was actually closed, so nothing to see inside, but just round the corner I found an extra piece of artwork that wasn't on Matty's list. Maybe it appeared after he did his walks around here back in 2016, so it was a while ago. And uh, this one I can tell you about because he's a very famous Thai street artist uh, called Alex Face, and you will find his works all around Bangkok and all around the country. So yeah, this one I can name for you. But uh, we're gonna go around the corner and go check out the old customs house. So literally 10 seconds around the corner from the piece of artwork we just saw is the old customs house. It's a lovely old building going to rack and ruin, unfortunately, but uh, like a lot of stuff in Thailand, uh, they have weird rules and uh, a guard has immediately pointed me to a sign saying, uh, no photography, no entry, so uh, we'll move on. Wandering down Soi Chowen Krong 32, you can see all these 
closed up food stores here. These would all normally be open uh, at this point, but because of the, uh, the new COVID outbreak, uh, at the moment, Bangkok's a bit of a ghost town, so lots of stuff that would normally open and uh, serving up delicious food here is all shut. But uh, just down the bottom, we've got another collection of street art to have a look at. Oh, and already found a bit here. So normally this would all be a little bit hidden behind the stalls. So uh, actually we get a good look at it. Very cool. Oh, still some places open. Maybe I'll go grab a cold drink in a sec. As always, I think I say this every time I make one of these videos, but it is so hot. Oh, this is very cool. So this section, we've got a lot of pieces to have a look at. There's some people doing a photo shoot down the end. So a uh, very popular spot for people taking selfies by the looks of it. This is uh, where you come to get your Instagram posts sorted, I think. We'll keep going and uh, check out the next bit. Just uh, one road over. I should have been able to cut for an alley to get here, but it was locked off. Uh, this has happened to me a few times today. Every time I try and take a shortcut, I end up going the long way around. But uh, we're going to see this amazing piece of artwork on the wall here. Um, before we have a look at that, uh, behind me, I don't know if you can see, there's a giant lobster and uh, various other giant animals. So. Uh, I think in another video I showed you where you could pick up giant Buddhas here in Bangkok and now uh, I'll show you what have we got, bulls, elephants, horses, crabs, uh, the lot, a reindeer, so uh, yeah, I don't know what more you can ask for but if you want anything else giant uh, I'll find out for you. But uh, facing around in this direction this is the artwork we came to see and it's all actually carved into the wall, so a really amazing piece of graffiti, I've never actually seen anything like this before. Uh, I think it's my favourite piece that I've seen all day so far. So just wandering into uh, what is basically the old Chinatown area. A uh, really cute area full of these little scrap metal places. Any bit of a car, motorbike or anything that you could possibly think of has been stripped bare here and left in these giant piles. In fact, uh, just coming across one right now so you can see behind me. and. Uh, it's such a, a strange little area this, but it's, apart from having stuff like this, it's also full of um, some very cool little cafes and restaurants and bars, um, which are normally open, but obviously, as I said earlier, with what's going on with the uh, current COVID outbreak, um, they'll all be shut up. But uh, the art will still be here, so let's go check out the last, I think, three or four pieces that we're going to see today. Uh, three or four big pieces. I think there's also an alleyway that we can pop down that has uh, a lot of cool stuff down it. So yeah, we'll check that out and uh, then we'll finish up for the day as the, uh, the sun is setting and uh, I need to get home. we're going to see today but this one's certainly seen better days it's like a lot of it has worn away it's a shame and just around the corner let's go have a look at the very last one and say goodbye okay so i said last one but it was actually the last two and we are done I hope you've enjoyed walking around with me today. I've had a lot of fun. And uh, as I said, I'll pop a little map down below the video so you can follow along this walk yourselves. If you're in Bangkok already, or if you're planning on coming out in the next few months, half a year, year, whenever they let you in. But I hope you enjoy it and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.